I'm Johnny, and this is my North Beach. Making pasta fagioli, aka pasta fazul. This is a favorite of mine, and it's also a favorite of uh, lovely Amor13, who suggested that I make this on YouTube. Uh, so that's what I'm cooking today. So let me show you the ingredients for uh, pasta fazul. Here's a uh, cannellini beans that I soaked overnight. Ditalini, the little shortcut pasta. Extra virgin olive oil. Celery, onion, garlic, fresh Italian parsley, bay leaf, dried oregano, sea salt, black pepper, tomato puree, and some pecorino. So let me get the odori going first. I'm gonna use uh, celery and onion. So there's one, the second one. See these leaves over here? This is gonna add flavor to it. If I got celery leaves, we're gonna use them. Okay, there's my celery. Then we're gonna take a half an onion. Okay, now we got a little bit of garlic here. Ba-boom, and ba-boom. Give this a rough chop also. Let me get my pan going. I'm using this enamel pot. We're gonna give it some uh, olive oil, maybe about two tablespoons, I'd say. Get these in. So it's the celery, the onions, the garlic, the bay leaf, all that goodness is going right in there. I don't wanna get any color on this, so I'm gonna keep a good eye on it, and we just want them to soften a little bit. They'll finish cooking in the, in the soup, of course. But I just wanna uh, cook them a little bit to bring out their flavor. Anytime I'm making a soup, or a stew, I'll always start this way by cooking your uh, herbs or your garlic, onions. So we'll just let those go for a minute or two. Now that the onions and the celery have sweated down a little bit, this is my Sicilian art, uh, oregano. And I'm gonna add that now. Just let that toast up. I've got the uh, cannellini beans that I soaked overnight and I'm gonna Put a cup or two of these in. If you don't want to uh, uh, soak beans overnight, you can use canned cannellini beans. Just make sure that you drain them well because you know there's going to be a lot of that starch down at the bottom of the can and you don't want that in here. We're going to add some water to this. You could use chicken stock, you could use vegetable stock, but this is going to be such a flavorable uh, dish, I don't think you need it. I don't want the salt, I don't want the other flavor, so I'm just using some good old Hetch Hetchy water here in San Francisco. And you want to make sure that you're more than fully covering the beans. So I'm going to bring the, the heat up to high, the lid on a jar, and we'll just test these in about 15 minutes and see if the beans are tender. So the beans have been cooking for about uh, 10 minutes in the boiling water, so I just want to add the uh, final ingredients here before the pasta goes in. So I'm just going to add some parsley here to help flavor that broth, right? Because it's just water. A little bit of salt and pepper. And then we could always adjust. This is a uh, tomato puree from Italy. So I'm going to add some of this for color. Let's take a look here, see how we're doing. I think my beans are going to be... Let me taste one for you. I don't get burnt here. Hmm. Beans are um, just about to the creamy stage. It's time to uh, add my uh, ditalini. You know, usually uh, my mother used to make this with ditali, right? It, was, it ended over here, no ni, because they're a bigger cut than this. It's hard to find ditali this cut sometimes. So ditalini you see more often. So I'm using that. It's going to be just as good. Some people uh, like to cook their pasta separate and then add it. So there's uh, one downside to doing it this way. The pasta is going to swell up, so you better eat this soon. The good thing is that some of that starch from the ditalini are going to help th thicken the soup. So we'll let it go probably about another five, six minutes, and we're going we're gonna to be eating some pasta vaso. <music> Let me taste it. Got a bean and I got some and I think it's gonna be done though. Mm. 
perfect. It needs a little salt, right? Always adjust salt and pepper. Now I'll give it a little bit of fresh pepper too here. Okay. So this isn't a real watery soup. See, you can see here, see how it thickened because it had the uh, starch coming off the pasta. It's the way you want it. Okay, so here's our uh, pasta vasul. I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit with uh, some parsley. Nice olive oil, a little drizzle. A little pecorino. Look at the mess I made over there. Get that all in there. That cheese is expensive. I don't want to lose any. Okay, let me take a little bit here. See how nice and thick it is, though? You don't want this to be like a broth. Look at that. Some of the beans, some of the little ditalini, burning my hand. Mm. Just like my mother made it in Jersey. Be sure you subscribe and you can check out another episode here. Hey, what are you waiting for? Click sign. Face like a big pizza pie that some more day when the stars make you drool. That's pasta fazul, and I'm having some more. Eh? Mm. When the moon hits your face. <laughs> <laughs>